Tonight, infectious disease experts are urging the White House to issue a federal directive asking all states to require masks to control the pandemic. Now, this comes as new research bolsters the belief that universal mask wearing may also help create some kind of immunity. Our Len Keyes has a study in tonight's KPIX 5 original report. At Point Isabel in Richmond, the dogs are not the only ones strutting their stuff. On display, all kinds of masks. They are a fundraiser for Golden Hi. Gate Lab Rescue. Well, my mommy got it for me, and and I really like it. These actually come from a company called Johnny Waz, and this is a designer. Why wear one? You know the drill. Protect myself and to protect other people. Now, a freshly published report details a new reason. A mask may turn a very scary disease into a milder infection, which then in turn provides you and people around you with some form of immunity. That if we all wore a facial mask all the time, that we could get through this pandemic much more quickly. Dr. Monica Gandhi is an infectious disease expert at UCSF and lead author of the study. She believes that masking will reduce the amount of virus that you get into your system and will make you less likely to be sick. Her research details multiple layers of proof. For starters, a higher dose of a virus leads to more severe disease. And a mask, while not perfect, greatly reduces the dose you give or get, resulting in a milder infection or no infection at all. One example. We call it the tale of two cruise ships. The Diamond Princess in Asia is compared to an expedition cruise in South America. Both ships were hit hard with a coronavirus outbreak. At first, passengers were forced to stay on board. They didn't actually let them get off. The Diamond Princess did not immediately hand out masks. The expedition crews did. The masking made a difference. The vast majority of infected passengers on board the expedition, 81% remained asymptomatic. Compare that to 18% of infected passengers on board the Diamond Princess who were without masks. All this evidence leads us to believe that the mask filters out viral particles it makes you have less in and you're less likely to get sick. The next theory, if you're infected with a smaller dose and have mild disease, do you then have immunity and for how long? So far, no one knows, but today there's no convincing evidence you can get reinfected. There's very hopeful data that you can be asymptomatic and still get that immunity. Population level immunity will drive down spread. It is, it is naturally what drives down spread while you're waiting for the vaccine. It's a wonderful theory. I hope it works. Dr. William Schaffner is an internationally renowned infectious disease expert at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. A little bit of virus that does get through, their hypothesis is that that gives you a milder infection. And so you get protected kind of on the cheap, as it were. And that may help actually give many people protection. He says the Gandhi report is another good reason to mask up. We should all continue to wear our masks every day. Back at Point Isabel, the reaction. Well, I hope that's, that proves to be correct. And I hope the rest of the country gets the message real quick. Dr. Gandhi told us many of the new COVID cases that are severe and require ICU care are connected to settings where essential workers may not be handed masks. In San Francisco, Lynn Keys, KPIX 5. Well, the Bay Area does not have a uniform policy to distribute masks to essential workers. In Taiwan, the government quickly moved to provide masks to all essential workers. And today, Taiwan has had 480 coronavirus cases and seven deaths in a country of over 23 million people.